Hey guys, it's Will here. We're looking at another video, this time that my second largest to potentially even now my largest army that I collect. If you guys haven't seen before, I've done two more videos like this in the past, but we're going to quickly go over the German forces I have as a quick thing as we go into this. the uh, This is everything that is purely German. Uh, I do have Finnish and Hungarians that I have also have as units on here, so I do have slightly more. And I do have conflict models. If you guys want to see my conflict army that I built as a, a challenge, that's why you won't see it on the board here. I do have a video down in the in the channel here, so take a look for that. The ones that you'll see later on in this video are ones that I couldn't show there, slash I didn't show because they weren't part of the thing because I didn't buy them in that week. You guys will see them there along with some other stuff. So this is the German army spanning from the B early war all the way to the very end. So let us begin with going into the first part here, which is... So starting here, we have our German High Command. Uh, three of them. Pick them up. These guys were actually pretty fun to paint up. A little map. They didn't come with this base. They came with uh, separate bases, so I put them on a Games Workshop base I had. Plus a dedicated little swim wagon I have for them. I do want to get a Kubel wagon later. Behind them we have all our forward observers slash extra crew members for our weapon teams and stuff. Uh, we have our cameraman. Go, cameraman. Cameraman. But yeah, he's kind of cool. He makes it so that Every dude that's in line of sight of him gets to um, basically redo an order test. They got to redo, re-roll because they want to look good for the camera. Uh, then we got our other, we got our little tiny teams. So we got medics, um, my favorite units in the game. So we got two of those. We have a sniper team with three dudes. Uh, you can make two and two, but a lot of my models, I've modeled them to be interchangeable, just like all the like the Flames Award armies. So stuff like that. We got a Penzer Shrek team and a flamethrower team that I'm being on. You're gonna see a good chunk of these are unpainted because there's a lot. At the end, I'll tell you how much there's in points. All of it being in regular and stuff, I'll, I'll go over it. Then starting over here. I have my five-man team of Brendenbergs, or Burgers, however you say it. Uh, these guys, they were dudes made to kind of, as the Americans were invading into Germany and stuff, and they're kind of like last minute stuff, and, you know, no holds back. Uh, they get a bunch of these, um, basically like the SS was, or OSS or whatever they're called, what special operations intelligence guys were doing. Uh, they would send elite um, extreme sometimes extremist German soldiers dressed as Americans to mess with road signs and interpret things wrong and all that stuff. And in the game, basically what they do is you're only allowed one unit per army, but you have like 15 or so of them, basically like a mini platoon in one unit. But so I'm going to try to get more in the future because they are kind of a cool, they're a cool modeling, um, modeling, um, you know, um, potential. And, um, but yeah, they let you mess with people's deep sharks. So those Americans who don't get penalties for trying to get reserves in and stuff, you basically make them do have to do the normal rules and everyone else gets super punished. The thing makes it like a minus two and stuff like that. And you have to reroll. It's, it's pain. Anyways, starting with the main infantries, we got these guys right here. These are my here grenadiers. So mostly my army is um, mid-war, so a lot of that, um, my favorite thing was Market Garden. I really That's my favorite sort of mission in the war, so a lot of that's going to be very strong there. You'll see that mostly with my Canadians when we get into that. But here is the Grenadiers. There is 80 of these guys. Uh, that includes, not including the front three here, which are the two, you, two basically units of lieutenants I have, first lieutenants, 
Uh, the guys on the left are the springtime sort of guys, spring fall. Sorry about the lighting here. Spring fall. You have this guy with the Luger that has the uh, This do with the Luger with the stock. And I have my winter HQ. So the guys in the front here are my winter selection of them for when I do Stalingrad stuff in Eastern Front. Um, I do have a Russian conflict army that I'm building, so you guys will see that later. Um, and then all the dudes behind them is my, again, fall, spring. Mostly, I've got most of them painted up. They have... These guys. Here squad. The 1939 dudes, early War Blitzkrieg models. Primed. Got a uh, box of them. Then behind them, I have my um, box. Box. How are they called? Benzelier. Pandelier squads. They were new actually last year. I believe they were last year releases from Warlord. They're supposed to be like a, they're supposed to be like SS in the sense that they're they're like the best train gear. But they're uh they're uh they listen to the military. They're not a a fascist party like the uh, SS is. So these guys are basically like your, uh, for those who play guardsmen, they're like your guard veterans, basically. And then to the right of them, in the middle here, actual middle, we have our SS. So these guys are the fanatical guys, the really bad people, bad man of World War II with their leader. So that's that. One with the P dot camo. Kind of did it my way. The guy on Warlord Games does it like way better. He insanely does it. Anywho, so that's them. And going to the right here, we have our Fulschmannjäger, or Fulschmannjäger, however you say it, and paratroopers, basically. Again, these guys are mid-war. Some of them might have a bit of gloss to it, because that's because they're in rain, because it's fall. That would explain why the guys are all wet. And in the front here are the other guys for conflict, so the other just have parts of units uh, painted up. Zombies. And then on the right of these guys over here, we have our Kriegs Marine, just a 10 man unit uh, for those missions. We got the, the Vox Drum, the People's Military. They're pretty cool. It's sailors, old soldiers, peoples, Hitler youth that got forced into service to basically defend their cities, especially when the Russians were invading. We have the engineer squads, the assault engineers, including a 
flamethrower here. Or, this one's a SMG, but... Flamethrower. Flamethrower. Goliath. Engineer boy. The spicy RC tanks themselves. There's a video of like a guy riding one when the Americans found them. They are pretty good. It's pretty funny to see. Then onto the second big part of this video, the huge chunker, the fun part of this whole thing collecting. That is the vehicle section, starting with our tank and anti-tank stuff. So we have, again, all these you can see on my Twitter if you want more in-depth sort of like side pictures. We have the Flam Panzer. That one's pretty fun. Open top. Pack 38 um, anti tank gun half track. We have the Panzer 38T. The Puma. Some of these, I think I missed the RCO tractor and the. Um, these guys right here, these are cool. They were made in response to Tank War, so I'll pull them up. But. They are um, tank crews abandoning tanks. So there is optional rules in the rule book and the, the tank war book where you can play with the crew when they hop out and they can hop into other vehicles that have been knocked down and recovered with recovery vehicles and stuff. But um, the models are slightly larger than their normal models, so they can't be easily interchanged. They would be cool for uh, every major army had one. So Americans, Germans, um, Russians, Americans and Germans definitely have these. Okay. Then continuing on here in the back we have the Howling Cows or on a half track with their crew. We have the Werbel Wind. Um, Panzers. These ones I kind of lost what they are. Panzer 3, Panzer 4s. But I can't so the story with these is I kept forgetting that I owned one, owned one or two. So I bought, I kept buy, I bought a couple more separately, thinking I didn't own them. I also thought I also built built the one that I thought I had only one of slash one I didn't have of the Panzer IV as a long barrel. So I built all three of them with their howitzer versions, and then I got the Panzer IV from Tamiya, so it's true scale because I always play with the Panzer IV when I play Germans, since you're only usually playing with one vehicle anyways. I made it true scale. Uh, besides here, here's some trailers that I made. Uh, the resin block is on the new tr uh, new half tracks or new multier trucks that came out. That's the ambulance slash radio tower truck. I'll do a video about them later on because they're actually pretty unique. And there's a way you have to build them specially that they don't tell you in the road or in the instruction manual. Then behind here, the Panzer three in the middle there. That's for sure. I know is a Panzer three. That one, I believe, is also a Panzer III. I believe that is a Panzer IV. The STAUH 40, whatever. The Stug, but newer. Hetzer. And coming over here, we have the Marauder III with crew. It is packed in there. Then we got the Nosh Horn. The Elephant is better just because it's enclosed, but. For the same amount of money you pay for this as you do the Nosworn, I got this instead because you can see the interior. But they are the same size model-wise, I think. Maybe the, not, the elephant's a little bit longer, but I'll play with it as an elephant. But it's technically a Nosworn. Then we got the brand new, uh, again last year, the plastic Yag Tiger. Um, actually pretty cool to build. The gun actually has the breech on the inside. It's fully see like it's fully detailed. And then we have another. We have two more Tamiya vehicles for three in total: uh, the Strum Tiger and the Tiger Tiger. Uh, the Tiger I'm building as the Black Baron Number Seven, his uh, radio operating tank. Uh, the antenna keeps snapping off, so I think I might just build it as his last version, the Number Seven. But if I can find the antennas, I'll rebuild it back. But then we got our Panther. We have our King Tiger. Then we have our Bolt Action, our Warlord Italeri Tiger. Then we have our Maltiers in Blitzes. Um, that one is the one that can be in the middle, is the one that you can turn into the ambulance radio truck. And the new gas repair truck. 
Uh, so with that, the thing that, so on the back there where that uh, tanker sits, I'll actually grab it. The instructions don't tell you how to put the new things on. So besides that, it's very self-explanatory how these doors go on. But in order to put this on, unless you do some heavy modification, it can, will not fit with the half track, which you think you'd want because then it could get to where the vehicles are. And you'd want the ambulance to have those tires. But anyways, so in order to fit this on, you have to cut the uh, holders on the edge of the frame that hold the normal flat pad up. So here you go guys, go if you want to see kind of like how to put it on. Because again, the instruction manual doesn't tell you how to put these on. These things up here, those little things that you see sticking out beside the tires, like right, oh, can you autofocus please? Like right there on the left and right of the bottom tire there, you have to cut those off in order to fit. And we got the ambulance, and then we got our truck, first towing, and just carrying people. Then we have our half tracks, SDKFs, whatever half tracks, and our ambulance. Then we have our Stuka, which we have for the playtest rules, and the big boy himself. So funny story with this, the mouse, they are back in stock. Funny story with that is, when I finally received it from ordering it through Warlord, um, the tracks on the bottom on the right, all the treads, like the treads broke off, like huge holes in it. So I asked them for a new one. Again, I have a video on this, on this guy. And lastly here, our weapons teams. I really like that one. Howitzers, SS Pack 40s, Walsh Mini Agra Pack 40s, custom Crew custom I actually made all these models that the crew is crew. The gun is Warlord. Uh, the crew is all bits made from a bunch of different kits and different games. Ultimate Jaeger, Air Recoilers, and uh, basically Bazooka. The LMG for the Here team, because they introduced those in the Western Desert uh, box and in the FAQ recently. So with that guys, oh, and another pack 40 for here. Next army, I believe, is going to be Axis Part 2. So it's Italy and its allies. So it's going to be all the other stuff. So basically, whatever you see here or you saw in this video can be used with the army that I'm going to be showing next. And the stuff I'd be showing next is models and stuff I made specifically or bought specifically for those armies. And I'll have them split off and I'll tell you which sections are which. So. If you guys want to see a de actual detailed list of what I own uh, and how I got the math, um, I'll post the link of the of the spread. I'll post the link of a picture of the spreadsheet on there for you guys to see on my Twitter. So I'm gonna go. Good boy.